Boston Globe staff critic. And very long time Snoopy LaBeat fan. I was blessed in my career of seeing 250 shows a year for the Globe. And year in and year out, Sleepy was right at the top. Uh, you know, I've never seen a better performer on it when he's on, and he's rarely not on. <laughs> uh, I was reminiscing with Sleepy that, geez, I've seen him at the Hillbilly Ranch in the old days. And, uh, I, I learned something new every time I talked to him, and he said, you know, one night at the Hillbilly, uh, this guy came in who was pretty famous at the time, and he wanted to sit in. And I, I later found out his name was Meatloaf. <laughs> and Sleepy said, well, I didn't know this guy, so I, did, I didn't want him to sit in. <laughs> so that's, you know, the kind of guy he is. Uh, but I saw him at the Blue Star in Saugus, you may remember that place. Which Sleepy would do... Uh, Country medleys, I think on like a Monday night, you know, you'd go up there and you'd hear the name George Jones and, you know, you'd, you'd do it all. Um, and I've seen him in a rotted gun club in Concord one night. I mean, Sleepy's not fancy, as you know. I mean, he'll play anywhere, anytime, for anyone. Harper's Ferry, you know. Uh, Jonathan Switch, I think, too, right? Did he play Jonathan Switch? No? Uh, Swifts, yeah. uh, and then in the last uh, 20 years, I guess right here at Johnny B's. And he told me that uh, when he first wanted to play here, Johnny, the, the owner, said, well, this is a hillbilly club. And it was, it was a country bar in those days. And he said, you might be too rock and roll for us. Well, thank God he still is. Gets his energy. He, he told me he's got uh, four of his grandchildren living with him right now in, at home. So I mean, that's uh, that's quite a blessed life, Sleepy. So, without further ado, let me introduce uh, the one and only Sleepy Lapeef. Thank you, all, my friend Steve Morris. I first started coming up here to New England. Steve was one of the writers that put the word out. Woo! Got a few people to come out and see us. Right. Peter Gorelick did also. A few of those good people that helped us. We appreciate all you people who stayed with us through the years. We appreciate you too. And we're going to have a good time. Yeah. And we love playing Johnny D's. We worked it. Most of the time we come to this area. But uh, when they shut down, we'll have a couple more places by then. And we'll get up to some more, all right? Have a good time. Peter Weatherby over here. That's it. Now, he put this group together, and I understand that they're multi talented. I've worked with bluegrass bands for Bill Monroe in Bean Blossom, Indiana. I worked doing grooms in Dallas, Texas. The Bob Wills built that club, doing a lot of western swing. We worked clubs with Gabe Miles Brown in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Well, I, well, I tell you, music is good if it's good. No matter what you call it, call it what you want to. Peter, why don't you introduce Bones and the rest of the guys here? Steve Bigelow. We have Steve Bigelow right here on bass. Steve, sp Steve spent time in uh, Sleepy's band, not the same time as me. We met later with Mickey Bones back here on the drum. We have two Dan's over there. Dan number one on the fiddle. Dan number two on the trumpet. How about Scotty? I didn't forget, we got Scotty Shetler on the saxophone. phone. Yeah. With the hot caps. They're a good bunch of boys. Everything they steal, they take it to Peter, doesn't it? <laughs> no, One, two, 
to teach you right, day by day. Get out your little prayer book, get out all your knees and pray. You gonna be here.